We've been doing previews, Shireen. If you've been watching the show this week, you know it. You probably haven't been because it's extra early for you. But yearbook style with some of the things that you would typically find in a yearbook and some of the things that maybe you wouldn't. We are focusing today on your favorite division, the NFC East. Best newcomer is the first topic. And this can be anything you want, a rookie, a free agent addition, a coach, head coach, assistant coach, whatever. Best newcomer to the NFC East. Well, I think it's easy to say Jane Daniels or Malik Neighbors, and I think both are going to be great. But I'm going to look at the team that I think is going to win the division, and that's the Eagles. And Vic Fangio, I think, is going to make a huge difference for that Eagles defense. He was a defense consultant there in 2022, and if not for the tampering, Jonathan Gannon by the Cardinals, he would have been the defensive coordinator in 2023. Instead, they went with Sean Desai. That didn't work out. He lost his play calling duties to Matt Patricia in December. That defense was abysmal, only had 18 takeaways. They gave up 143 explosive plays. I just think he's going to make a huge difference for that defense, and I think that's going to be the difference for the Eagles this year. Yeah, look, you mentioned the two that are the most obvious, so I got to take one of those, and I think it's Jaden Daniels. As Sims has been saying all along, in any other year, he would have been the number one overall pick. When we were at the scouting combine interviewing defensive players, any of them from the SEC, if we asked who was the toughest guy you ever faced, they did not hesitate. Jaden Daniels was the word that came out of their mouth, two words, the name that came out of their mouth. So I think we're going to see something special from Jaden Daniels, and you know, you could say that the Bears have the potential to be kind of like the Texans last year with the C.J. Stroud bump, but we're all paying attention to that one. The Commanders are the one we're really not paying attention to, kind of like we were with the Texans, and they're going to have the ability to just kind of churn through the schedule in relative anonymity, and I think Jaden Daniels can be really special for them. All right, the next one. Best bromance, dynamic duo, as an alternative way to put it. Who do you have? I think that one's really easy. Uh, Dak Prescott was second in MVP voting last year to Lamar Jackson. CeeDee Lamb made all pro for the first time. They played 49 games together, 313 catches for Lamb for over 4,000 yards, 29 touchdowns. That one I think is very, very easy. Yeah, and look, if we weren't getting a little short on time, I would come up with something different, creative, maybe even a little cheeky. But this one is too simple as well. It's C.D. Lamb and it's Dak, and they were kept apart. It's like the Montagues and the Capulets. They were kept apart by Jerry, and now they're back together, which will only lead to greater admiration and hopefully for the Cowboys and for the two players' production when it's time to play in the games. All right. Uh, I know where I'm going with this one. The drama king of the NFC East. Let me go first. Because it's okay. Jerry. Because he loves yes. it. He's not accidentally creating it. He's deliberately doing it. And he knows why he's doing it. He stirs the pot because it's good for business to stir the pot. He says whatever he has to say. He does whatever he has to do to keep the Cowboys relevant. And I would submit to you that the fact that they are still the most popular team the team that every network wants on the air, even though they haven't been to an NFC championship since 1995, that's more impressive than winning one Super Bowl in that period of time. There's no question the answer is Jerry. If I'm going to pick a player, I'll pick a player just to be different. I think it's Micah Parsons just because he's always available. He's always talking. He's always stirring up stuff. And Jerry probably loves that, Mike, because guess what? We're talking about Micah Parsons. We're talking about the Cowboys. Anytime you're talking about the Cowboys, Jerry just wants to make sure you spell his name right and you spell Cowboys right. Otherwise, he's good with you. Thickest skin I've ever met. I don't even think he cares if you spell his name wrong. He's just lucky he has a name that no <laughs> one would spell wrong, right? That's true. It's not like his name's Shireen. That's that no true. one knows how to spell until they finally learn how to spell it. There aren't many alternatives for Jerry Jones, although I guess he could do it with a G and an I. Okay, uh, most likely to succeed, division winner. Who do you have? Well, I got the Eagles. I think they have the best roster. Uh, I, I 
I don't think it's going to be that close, frankly, in this division. I think the Eagles are the best team in this division. They're not going to blow a 10-1 and start this year. Not that they'll get off to a 10-1 and start, but if they do, they're not going to blow that this year. I just think they're the best team in the division by far. Yeah, I agree with you as well, and the DraftKings odds make that clear. The Eagles were the best team last year. They blew it down the stretch opening door for the Cowboys to win the division. I don't see the Giants as improved enough to get there. The Commanders could be the surprise team. I'm not going to rule them out. But the Eagles, I think, I want to see how they handle this pressure because I'm not sure they're handling it well so far. And Nick Sirianni is not just low key, but clearly hot seat after last year when it felt like maybe he was going to be gone following the collapse and the embarrassing playoff loss to the Buccaneers. But uh, the Eagles should win. They have the roster that they should win. And if they don't, there will be hell to pay in Philadelphia. DraftKings Sportsbook is a, or the, as the case may be, number one place to bet touchdowns. And new customers can bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly, plus one month of NFL Plus Premium. Download the app and use promo code PFT Live when you sign up. We'll be back with more PFT Live right after this. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.